One thing none of our tests cover at the moment is the user interface. By and large, they can't really. It's impossible to write unit tests that check that the user interface for a particular component looks right. And right now, there are plenty of things in this render function that aren't tested. For example, nowhere do we test that the increment button is first in the list before the decrement button. This might not matter, but you could imagine a designer coming in and changing a component or an engineer making a refactor of a, a method that inadvertently changes how the component renders to the DOM. Problems of this nature aren't always going to be able to be caught by Jest or any test you've got written, but we can take steps to try and avoid accidental changes to the render functions of components. One such way we can do that is using Jest snapshots. A snapshot test lets you take a snapshot of a component at a given point in time and store what it looked like. And here, what I mean by what it looked like is what it rendered onto the page. Every time you then run that test, Jest will check that the output of the component matches the stored output that Jest remembers. If it changes, it will let you know about it. You can either accept the change, say you've deliberately renamed a class, for example, or you can reject the change and you'll be alerted to a bug if Jest is telling you that the snapshot has changed when you don't think it should have. So let's write a snapshot test for our component. To do snapshot testing for React, there's one more dependency we need. I'm going to import what's called the renderer from React Test Renderer. This test renderer lets you take a React component and render it as a big JSON object. Jest can understand these JSON objects and can pass them and produce nice outputs. So it's what we're going to use to get a snapshot of our component. We'll hand our component off to the renderer. It will give us back a JSON representation of what the component rendered at that point in time. And we'll store that with Jest as the snapshot. So I'm going to add another test in here that say it matches the snapshot. And to do this, I'm going to now create what we call a tree. So I'm first going to create a constant called tree. And again, tree, the name here doesn't matter, but tree is what tends to be used in the Jest documentation, for example. So it's what I've stuck with. And we're going to call renderer.create and we'll pass in the component we want to render. So again, the counter. We're then going to call to JSON on it to get a JSON representation of the counter. We That would work if I actually could type JSX correctly. And you can see right now this test is passing. It's passing because we're not doing anything. We're not making any assertions. So there's nothing to actually fail this test. What I'm now going to say is I expect that the tree to match snapshot. The first time I do this, of course, there isn't going to be a snapshot for the counter. So the very first time you run a snapshot test, Jest will create the snapshot for you. Let's see that happen. You can see on the right hand side, we've now got one snapshot written. So Jest has written the snapshot for the counter component. Let's go and have a look at what it actually looks like. So you'll see here now in my project view, I've got a new folder called snapshots and I've got a file called counter.test.js.snap. If we look at that, you'll see that there's a export per test that uses a snapshot. In our case, we've got one counter component matches the snapshot. And you can see here we've got a div with a paragraph where the current count is zero. We have a button with an increment class and an on click and similarly for the decrement button. So every time this test now runs, Jest is going to compare what our counter component outputted to this snapshot. And if they're different, it's going to let us know. Let's go and accidentally cause a bug in our counter component to see this in action. So I'm back in my render function and let's say I accidentally leave a, a number two after the increment count button. Like I typo and I hit save, I don't realize that I've changed the text of that button. None of our previous tests would have caught this. But if you look on the right hand side, you can see that Jest has actually spotted this change in the snapshot. I'm just going to make the window bigger so we can see that more clearly. You can see here Jest is saying the received value does not match the stored snapshot that we have. The snapshot, which is in green, has increment count. The received value in red is increment count two. So Jest is failing this test because the snapshot has changed. So it just then tells us that the snapshot test has failed, but it also says we can inspect your code changes or press U to update them. So if this was a correct change, and this was a change we deliberately wanted to make, we could now hit U and Jess would update the snapshot for us. But in this case it isn't, so let's undo that change and check that we've got the component back to the right state. So I'll remove that stray too, hit save, and now all our tests are passing again. So Jess has rechecked the component against a snapshot and realized it's back to normal. So let's make a change that we would actually want to update the snapshot with. So rather than increment count, we're just going to have plus, plus, plus. And rather than decrement count, we're going to have minus, minus, minus. If I hit save and I'll make this window bigger again, you can see once again, Jess is telling us of this change. We used to have increment count. We've now got plus, 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 and similarly for the decrement button. Now this is a correct change. I, I deliberately made this change. So if I press U now in my terminal, that will tell Jess to update the snapshot. So I press U. Jest reran and it says it's updated the snapshot. 
Let's go and have a look at it now. If we look at the snapshot now, we can see that it's got plus, 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 and minus, minus, minus. So snapshot tests are a really nice way to quickly be notified if the output of your component has changed. You can either then update the snapshot if it was a correct change, or go and figure out what's gone wrong if it's not a change that you expected to make.